In this video, we are going to learn about SAS similarity. First, let's briefly review what it means for two shapes to be similar. The basic idea is that they will be the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. So what that means is that one of the shapes will always be an enlargement of the other shape. So it looks like you took one shape and blew it up to make a bigger version of the shape. So if two shapes are similar, that means that all their corresponding angles are congruent and all their corresponding sides are proportional or in the same ratio. So if you had two triangles and you wanted to test if they were similar, one way to do that would be to look at all of their sides and all of their angles. So say we had these two triangles and we had all the information about them. We knew all the angles and all the sides. We could tell if they're similar by checking all their angles and we can see 80 and 80 are congruent. Again, 80 and 80 are congruent and 20 and 20. So all three pairs of angles are congruent. Also, if we check the corresponding sides, five and 10 are in the ratio of two to one. And same here, two to one, two to one meaning that if you take any of the smaller side lengths and multiply by two, you'll get the length of the corresponding side in the larger triangle. So we would know that those two triangles are similar because they satisfy the definition of two shapes being similar. Now it can be a lot of work sometimes to check all of that information and actually it's sort of unnecessary to check all of that information. So there are three shortcuts for showing that two triangles are similar without having to look at all the angles and all the sides. And one of those shortcuts is SAS similarity. And what that says is if two pairs of sides are proportional and they're included angles, which means the angles in between the two sides that we're talking about, if those angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar. So this is SAS because it's talking about a side and an angle and a side. So just like in normal similar triangles, we're testing that the sides have the same ratio and the angles are the same. And the important thing is the order, that the angle has to be in between the two sides in order for this shortcut to work. If it's not in between the two sides, we can't use this. So let's look at an example where this would apply. In these two triangles, we're not given all of the information. We only know one angle in each and two sides, but it is the case that the angle we know is in between the two sides we know. So this is a case where you can use side angle side to test if they are similar. So what you wanna do is make sure that the angles match up and they do. The angles are each 85 degrees, so that's good. The angles are congruent. You also wanna match up the sides so eight, the larger side would match with four. And we can see that the ratio is two because four times two is eight. And then if we match up six and three, we can see again that the ratio is two um, because six divided by two is three. So basically because eight over four equals two and six over three equals two, and we have two in both cases, and also those 85 degree angles match, then the triangles must be similar by SAS. So if we had our triangles labeled with ABC and DEF, we would say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF by SAS similarity. And again, what that means is they have two pairs of sides that are in the same ratio of two, and the angle between those two sides is the same in each triangle.